Hey, what's going on, Inspirators? It's your boy, Tony D, Tony Doyle, Inspires.com. Coming at you once again with another video here on the Inspirate channel. Definitely want to uh, thank you guys for popping in. <clears throat> if you have been following along with our last few releases, uh, you'll know that we are um, just about to finish up the five love languages um, and our uh, in-depth um, kind of treatise of um, each of those points. If you are not familiar with the five love languages, we are talking about um, the 1995 published book by Dr. Gary Chapman, uh, which describes the communication styles uh, and the priorities of um, of our love language or of our language of relationships and it has um, come to be somewhat considered the Bible as far as that goes. Um, definitely suggest you guys picking that book up, checking it out or any of the spin-offs. There are five love languages for teens, for kids, um, for uh, business relationships and all that. That being said, we are um, on love language number four today, and um, we are going to break it down for you and see um, if that is a love language that you um, deem high on your list, uh, or if it isn't, okay? Or your partner, or, you know, your friends, or your business relationships, those type of things, so... Um, once again, five love languages, and uh, we are in for number four, quality time. So if that's something that's interesting to you, first and foremost, if you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I appreciate everyone who does that, and um, if you do subscribe, also hit that little bell symbol. That's a notification symbol, and it lets you know every day, whenever we put out new content, and we are dedicated to putting out a new video every single day for the entire year to keep you inspired, motivated, and keep your vibration on a high level. Um, remember, it's all about appreciation. And um, we show you all kinds of different ways to do that. And um, like I said, to uh, stay inspired, right? We are the Inspirate channel. So, all right. Housekeeping aside, let's go ahead and get into this video right now. So we are talking about the five love languages according to Dr. Chapman. These five love languages are words of affirmation, uh, acts of service, the receiving of gifts, quality time, and physical touch. Okay, And through these, um, these love languages, these communication styles, um, it's really a, um, a priority list of what do you appreciate in a relationship. And, of course, there's consideration for what does the other person in the relationship appreciate. Okay, um, And as I've been telling you throughout these, um, throughout these videos, uh, I definitely see these uh, as more of a scale. Um, and so you can rank one higher or lower, um, but that doesn't mean that, you know, everything is going to be in that one basket. We're our human beings, um, and we all do express ourselves and like to um, be appreciated in different ways depending on the relationship. So you may also see that depending on the relationship you're looking at, your love language may change, okay? Okay. So that's also an interesting thing to look at. So as we're going through these, um, take a look at different um, relationships that you may want to consider. Okay, so not just uh, your lover, but your friends, like I say, your business relationships, you know, your family, your kids, um, and just see where that's at for you. Um, finding this out for yourself is a big help in realizing what it is you want out of a relationship how it is someone else can please you, and then, and then the communication of that. Same thing goes with the other person. Um, whether the other person is good at communicating it or not, um, through looking at these, you can get really a good insight um, and some ideas 
into what the other person may be and how you may better be able to satisfy them in whatever type of relationship we're talking about, right? All right, so let's get right into it. We are in love language number four. Four. We're talking about quality time, right? So this love language inspirators is all about the undivided attention, right? So we're, no televisions or smartphones or other distractions. If this is your partner's primary love language, they don't just want to be included during uh, this period of time. They want to be the center of your attention. Am I right? So give me some thumbs up or some comments down below if you or your partner know for a fact quality time is one of your high love languages and you know that by the demands that you put on the other person in a relationship uh, or that are put on you as far as undivided attention. Okay, so that's the first and foremost, the first um, tip to look for. Like I said, they want to be the center of the universe uh, during that time. It doesn't mean it always is, but during that appreciation time, right? Um, so when you're on the date or when you're in the room, they want you to be fully present, right? Not too much to ask. And if it's somebody's super high, um, super high language, you know, so if it's their number one, uh, they will definitely make that known, okay? They're going to want their partners to look at them uh, in the eyes, look at them only, and uh, avoid all other distractions at all costs, right? So, like I said, this doesn't mean that you don't want to curl up at the couch and watch net Netflix and chill or whatever. It just means that you need to make uh, really sure to dedicate time together without distractions as well, okay? So... This is going to help you feel, well, this, the, the person who has this, uh, feel more comforted in the relationship and more appreciated um, once you recognize this is their love language, you're able to provide them that satisfaction, okay? Like I said, the one of the main points of this exercise is to be able to identify that even if your partner or the other person in the relationship is not a good communicator of that, okay? So... Every time you cancel a date or postpone time together uh, or aren't present during your time together, so you take a phone call or something like that, it can be extremely hard, uh, hard, hurtful um, to your partner or to the person who, who values this very highly, right? It, it can make them feel that you care about, more about other things or activities than them um, because, once again, they are expecting you to put that time aside and be one-on-one -on -one with them and fully present. So anytime you do not do that, it will actually completely backfire on you. So quality time might be the easiest language to understand. Um, everybody lists it as high on their list, but it is actually one of the easiest to misunderstand as well. Okay, and let me tell you what I mean. So... If you have a quality time of love language, uh, love language um, and we will be giving you some examples here, but if you haven't discovered already, um, this love language is about being fully present and aware and completely wrapped up into that person during that time. Like I said, it doesn't mean you have to be 24 hours a day. This is not uh, an unhealthy thing. Uh, this is just a love communication style um, to where um, they want that time to be theirs. So uh, unlike the receiving of gifts uh, or some of the others, um, really this is the present that they're looking for is your unadulterated, completely present um, time, right? So uh, it means that they feel loved uh, the most when you spend quality time with them all right so in a way that's the easiest and it might also be the hardest if this is not high on your love language list okay so you may think it's a no-brainer but then again not so fast so being around them just isn't enough it's not a fact of just being home 
uh, or being out to dinner with them, okay? Um, a standard movie night isn't going to go over all the time either, right? Why? Because quality time is way more than just time in general. It's attention. Okay, so it may better be stated as personal attention. Okay, in fact, this love language should probably be called that quality of attention or something like that. But um, you get what we need. So the quality we're referring to is personal attention uh, as affection, right? So if you want to show your partner some love and their language happens to be quality time, remember these three B's. All right, so this is where you take out your pencil and write these down, especially if your partner's uh, love language is quality time. Be deliberate with your time. Be mentally present and be affectionate. Okay, so let's go through those real quick. All right. So the three B's of quality time, this is how to satisfy a partner who has quality time as uh, their highest attribute, okay? So be deliberate, all right? So turning a suddenly open night or some random free block in your schedule into quality time may not work out, okay? Um... Spontaneity and adventure, you know, being adventurous are great, but individuals whose primary love language is quality time much more appreciate the effort and determination you placed into getting this time separate together and alone. Okay? So if you're if you feel like that they're your fallback plan, it could actually backfire. Alright, so be careful with that. Um on the other hand, if your quality time is dedicated and pre-planned, your partner will feel like the time is theirs. It shows them that you were thinking of them and want to give them their own special time. Okay? That quality time was set aside just for them and only them. So by doing so, you're reinforcing the fact that they are important in your life. Okay? And like I said, even though it may be you know, spontaneous and fun, to uh, you have a cancellation of a work appointment or something to come pick up your wife and take her to the movies, that's a great thing. By all means, do that. But don't think that counts necessarily as quality time when they're your backup date. Okay? And that's the way uh, they will probably look at it at this point. All right, so that's B number one. Be deliberate with your time. B number two is be mentally present. Okay? So you spend time planning that something special, but then you're on your phone off and on the entire night. Not going to cut it. Not going to cut it. Remember, more than just the time alone, it is the attention that's most important. So if you're skimming emails um, and, or your phone has your attention or really anything else besides your partner, uh, watching TV out of the corner of your eye, any of those things, um, this is not going to please your partner. Once again, this is going to backfire. Um, you should not be checking sports scores during their special time. Be mentally present. Quality time means putting away the phone, okay, cleaning your brain of all that clutter and anything distracting you. So don't be bringing home stuff from the office or any of that. And really just focus on your partner, okay, as that number one focus. And like I said, it's better to be clear and present with them for one hour with no distractions than to have a whole evening um, where you're only partially there, okay. So, B number three, let's talk about our third B. Be affectionate. Okay, so once again, it's not just about time. It's not just about um, any old time. You know, that's really what it is. So if you planned a killer night um, out together, that's a good thing, right? Okay, you turned your phone off and you're totally ready for some one-on-one -on -one time. Another good thing, check number two. But now what? It's about being affectionate 
um, showing that love. So remember what we're trying to do here. This is about a love language. This is the way the person um, perceives that you love them or not. Okay, so in a different relationship, same thing. This it is about the presence. And um, so in this affectionate part, literally, um, you know, same thing would go for a friend, you know. It might not be kissy kissy, but you got you know how you know you do fun things. You know you, you could do drinking games. You could do all kind of uh, different buddy buddy things just as well. Um, but once again, be affectionate. Okay, be playful. Um, show your partner you know how much you care about them. Um, again, show them that they that they are your world. Right. So that's the whole point of this exercise. So make sure they're getting the point. Okay. Attention goes a long way towards helping affirm your love um, with a partner who has this as their primary uh, love communication style. All right. Excellent. So if you watched our last video, we kind of had a little date night challenge for a week. We're going to do the same thing for folks who have this as their love language style. Okay. So quality time. So let's talk about... Um, over the next week or so what we're going to do all right we are going to challenge you to create some quality time together duh, duh, duh. shock shock right <clears throat> so once again just remember the point okay this is about showing someone who values quality time that you care about them okay so let's just give you a couple rules for our uh, our our big week all right only needs to be about 45 minutes, okay, but you have to do it every single day. All right, that's rule number one. So this is daily exercise, 30 to 45 minutes, okay. So we're going to give you some options here, and like I say, pick, pick what you like on your own. Um, just make sure that they include the three Bs. You guys remember what the three Bs are, right? Three Bs. Someone comment down below if you remember the three Bs that we just covered. Most important thing, right? Be deliberate with your time. Be mentally present. And be affectionate. Alright? So each of those things, cover those as um, we go through these. So here are ten ideas. If you have some other ideas, feel free to take them as well. But like I said, remember to take care of the three Bs in each of those. Um, each of these activities should take uh, 30 to 45 minutes, hour max, but you should do it every day for at least one week. Okay, this is a special treat. All right, so here's a couple ideas. Take a walk around the neighborhood or local park. You guys know me. You know I'm a park fanatic. Do a puzzle or play a board game. Great thing about puzzles and board games or there are, there's no distractions. It's just the two of you, right? Okay. Find a do-it-yourself project to do um, throughout the week a little at a time. So maybe you guys want to put together a bookshelf or um, something like that, right? Plan out a next vacation, including the action steps, the timing, and all that. How about this? How about find a new recipe and make it for dinner together? That'd be fun. Do you guys like to cook together? Um, how about taking a little mini road trip? Who likes to get in the car and just drive a little bit? Stargazing. One that I love, you know. Uh, or the moon. You know, if you got a full moon or a new moon, I always do with things around that. You guys can do those things together. And speaking of uh, making a recipe, what if you guys made a homemade pizza while you were watching the sunset? you ate that after making it together or how about this how about if you're into music why don't you write a song together why not come up with lyrics you could do every other line or someone could do the chorus someone could do the verse okay um or really anything you want to do as long as you cover the three b's right whatever would sound fun to you it could be any amount and the more playful the better so if you could have some find some kind of fun shaving cream game something like that um 
if you guys like to do any kind of art activity, crafts, all of those things are great. As long as you're spending your time focused with your partner or your friend or your loved one, whoever you're talking about who has this, or if you are the person, express this to your partner or to the other person in the relationship that quality time is really something that you value highly. And come up with a couple of ways, like I said, that you can um, express this in your everyday life. All right. So that's it for today, folks. That's quality time. Um, <clears throat> that is love language number four. So stay tuned. If you missed any of the love languages on a breakdown, go to the Inspirate page. Uh, check out all of those. We have videos specifically on each of those. We also will have a video on the little quiz or the way to... Um, kind of figure out what love language you or your partner may be. That's going to be a separate video, very last in the series. And um, as always, if you have comments or questions, feel free to put those down below here. You can also go to our Facebook page of the same name, NSPR8, Inspirate, and um, we have a lively conversation there over each of the videos as well. And if you have any other comments or maybe suggestions for topics, uh, you can jot that down there for us in the chat. So, once again, I appreciate you guys for popping in the Inspirate channel. My name is Tony Doyle from TonyDoyleInspires.com, and we really strive to keep you inspired and motivated and keep your vibration high um, through all different ways. You know, so you've seen me go on plenty of different things. Feel free to explore um, our entire site. Um, here on YouTube, and um, hopefully there's some stuff there that you uh, can really get into. Pass it on to your friends if you like it. Like I said, if you haven't already, please subscribe first and foremost and hit the little bell symbol. You know, here's a, th here's a funny thing that a lot of people don't know. In YouTube, um, when you give a video the thumbs up, um, it actually works with the algorithm to help that video become a suggested video to like-minded folks like yourself that may not know to subscribe or check out our video. So that is really helpful in spreading the message. And as always, you can spread this directly via any social media platform, um, you know, uh, your timelines, your stories, your pages, your groups, or however you'd like to send it. All right. So once again, I'm going to leave you with that. Remember, if you are not inspired, you're just not looking around enough you just need to appreciate, look around, find something to appreciate, and uh, raise your vibration. All right. Until tomorrow, because remember, we will be doing another video. Every single day we do a video. Check us out tomorrow um, right here on the Inspirate page. Until then, sending you peace and love.